The topic is graphing cross sections in 3D. Alright, so let's do the first example. Sketch the graph of the cross section of f of xy equal x squared plus y squared. So the definition says at x equal 2, the cross section will be z equal f of 2y which means z equal, and whatever we see x, we plug 2. So that would be 2 squared plus y squared. In other words, z is equal y squared plus 4. So how do we graph that? This is just a parabola shifted 4 unit up. So this is 4. This is it. Now, of course, in the 3D, we need to go to, the cross section will be, we need to go to x equal 2. Right? This is x equal to, and we need to go to, uh, f we need to go four units up. And then we'll draw our parabola. Right? So, and again, just do this to give it some. Right, that would be the cross section. The graph of the cross section at x equal two. All right, let's do the next example. Sketch the graph of the cross section of f of x y equal x squared plus y squared at y equal one. Again, that would be z equal f x, x vary, but y is fixed, y is equal 1, which means z equal, whatever we see y, we plug 1, so that would be x squared plus 1 squared, so z equal x squared plus 1, so it would be a parabola with the vertex 0, 1, So now, how do we graph it in 3D? We go to y equal 1, and then we go 1 unit up, and then we graph it. It's going to be a hard one. This goes to the back, and then just to give it, so you can see where it stands. So it's this curve right here. All right. As the next example, sketch the graph of the cross section of f of xy equal 1 minus x squared minus y squared at x equal 1. That would be z equal f, the x is equal 1, and y vary. y varies means z equal, whatever we see y, we plug 1. So that would be 1 minus x squared minus 1 squared. So z 1 minus 1. Uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, so z equal minus x squared. Uh, y squared, sorry. Uh, we plug the 1 for x. So this is y. That would be 1 minus y squared. So how do we graph it? It's a parabola uh, opening down. So how do we graph it here? We go to x equal 1, is x equal 1, and then we go, it's supposed to be down, and the other one should be from the other side. So just do this so you can see. Right? So that would be this curve right here. Right, do this like that so you can give it the feeling. Well, no, then we can do this. All right, next example, last one. Sketch the graph of the cross section of f of x y equal one minus x square minus y squared at y equal one. So that would be z equal. We know that y is equal one and x can vary, which means z equal. Whatever we see y, we plug 1. 1 minus x squared minus 1 squared. Which means z equal minus x squared. 
So to graph it in the 2D will be this graph. But of course to graph it in 3D we go to x, I mean y equal 1. And then we graph it here. The other one should be coming from the other side. And that's just to give it the feeling. We're just going to do this. Right? So it's this curve right here. This curve right here. And that's it for this example.